Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technic and in this video we will do a detailed camera review of the Meizu M1 Note. So this device was announced last week and it went on sale on Amazon for Rs. 11999 and it has impressive specs. It has a 5 inch Full HD display, Octa-core processor, 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage and on top of that it has a 13MP rear camera with dual LED flash and a front 5MP camera. So that is the camera spec of this device. So let's get started into the review. So first step, let's see the camera interface. So let's open the camera app. So you can see the camera app is pretty simple and uh, straightforward app uh, with a clutterless uh, UI. And you can see it is similar to the Honor series, uh, the Honor 4X and the Honor 4C. So we have uh, the camera options here, uh, the option to uh, view the gallery, the camera button and also the video recording mode and uh, towards the side of it uh, we have additional five options one is uh, the options menu so here we have uh, the option to enable HDR there is grid lines, level gauge then you have the countdown timer you can see 3 seconds, 5 seconds and 10 seconds uh, then you have the photo size it goes from 3, uh, 8, 9 and 13 megapixel and the video size it can be 480p, 720p or the full HD video so these are the options available in the settings. Now let's go back to the camera interface and you can see you can enable the front facing camera. Uh, the front facing camera is uh, a 5 megapixel shooter. Uh, then uh, you have uh, the option to enable or disable flash. You can just press this and uh, enable the flash or disable them. And uh, then uh, you have the back button. So these are the options available on the left side. I mean on the right side. And on the top uh, we have a few options. So for this you just need to swipe uh, uh, towards right or left to see the option so this is the auto mode by default this is the auto mode so if we just scroll you can see the manual mode so in the manual mode we have uh, options for auto um, uh, shutter speed you can uh, change the shutter speed of uh, goes up to 10 seconds then you have uh, ISO option you can uh, select uh, from 100 to 1600 that's the maximum available then you have exposure compensation then uh, uh, the, the manual focus or uh, uh, the automatic focus so these are the options available in the manual mode then I can just swipe in and you can get the beauty mode uh, then there is panorama a uh, light field so light field is something uh, new on uh, uh, we haven't heard of actually so basically this is uh, 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 for the, the focusing uh, option that is uh, you can change the focus after you uh, selected the photo and uh, the background defocus uh, something like that the background defocus will just show you how this works so this is uh, this is a photo which is taken uh, with um, uh, the uh, the option uh, and you can see the tap to focus uh, tap the foot to to refocus. So if I click here, this is the object which is refocus. And if I click on the background, you can see that uh, that object is uh, focused and this will go blurred. So basically, you can change the focus after you have taken the photo. And there is also a focus all option. That means uh, the focus will be available for all the objects. So that is uh, the option here. So now let's go back to the camera interface and uh, this is uh, the light field option uh, in the photo then I uh, have the option to scan QR codes so you can uh, scan QR codes you can uh, just uh, place the camera over the QR code and then scan it uh, then you have the slow motion option recording the slow motion video uh, then uh, back to the auto mode so these are the modes so it's a pretty feature rich uh, camera uh, we have a clutter free interface a uh, very good interface uh, everything arranged pretty neatly and uh, uh, it's it's a uh, fairly feature rich uh, interface for a camera so we have that full HD uh, video recording as well as 13 megapixel camera so that was the interface uh, again at the bottom you can see there is a filter which we missed here so we can uh, enable filters uh, you can see a handful of filters are included you can just enable the filter and then you can take photos they are uh, they are shown real time and you can uh, have a look at these filters as well so that is the camera interface now let's go into the camera samples so first up let's see the daylight shots so this is a photo taken in daylight and you can see the color quality looks really good and the overall clarity of the photo 
uh, including the, the contrast ratios, the exposure, everything looks uh, perfect here. So you can see if you, even if you zoom in, there is no loss of clarity and there is no absolutely no noise included in the photo and the clarity looks pretty good and uh, probably this is uh, a great camera in this price point. So overall the, the camera looks really good uh, in daylight and produces really great uh, quality shots. The color quality looks really good and uh, very close to the natural colors. So in daylight, uh, this camera works really well. So these are some of the other photos taken uh, with this camera. So uh, you can see some of the samples. They look really good and uh, the overall clarity of uh, these uh, daylight photos look uh, really amazing. So it's one of the best cameras in this price point. Uh, the 13 megapixel shooter is really good uh, overall in terms of the clarity. You can see some of the close-up shots which we have taken. Again, the clarity looks really good. It's it's an amazing camera in daylight, uh, and it also has the background defocus option. So it also has the bokeh effects. You can see the background gets uh, uh, defocused uh, and uh, blurred out uh, in the, when you're taking um, captures uh, with uh, close-up shots. So that that effect is available. And uh, overall, we would say this is a really good camera. Uh, if you're taking photos in daylight and uh, the macro captures or rather the close-up shots have also come really great with great color quality so that was the daylight uh, captures of uh, this device so this uh, photo was taken uh, in low light or rather with artificial lighting and it has come pretty good there is good amount of detailing although there is noise uh, uh, you can see there is noise in the photo if you zoom in but uh, it's acceptable quality because uh, uh, this is taken uh, in uh, almost um, artificial lighting we have uh, a few other photos as well uh, without uh, artificial lighting the photos look uh, a lot noisier here so you can see here uh, this is again pretty good quality photo and uh, the clarity looks uh, pretty good so here are some of the low light uh, samples taken with this device you can have a look at them so all in all we would say in the low light if the artificial lighting is pretty good then the clarity of photos uh, is also uh, much better than uh, what you see without artificial lighting and the flash works really well so you can see there are some of the shots taken uh, with the flash uh, so flash works really good and the cl clarity of uh, photos uh, with flash is also pretty good the, the flash doesn't uh, make the photo look artificial the color quality is maintained with the flash it has a dual tone led flash and uh, this works uh, pretty well so all in all we would say in the low light uh, if there is pretty decent amount of uh, artificial lighting then the photos uh, have turned up well uh, or else uh, if there is a uh, pretty low light then there is noise creeping into this device and this device does not have a really great uh, uh, low light imaging capabilities it's it's a fairly decent uh, camera in this price point with low light images so this device does need uh, some amount of artificial lighting for uh, taking uh, low light images now moving on to the video recording this device supports uh, uh, full hd video recording and this is the full hd sample and you can see this has really great clarity you can see the sharpness levels are also very good uh, the color quality looks amazing and the overall clarity of uh, this video the full hd video is really good uh, and uh, this works really well uh, that the 13 megapixel camera works really well so uh, this device has a lot of good capabilities uh, it has really great camera in the daylight and uh, an average uh, low light uh, camera and uh, it also has uh, very good uh, video recording abilities as well now this phone also comes with a 5 megapixel front camera and uh, this is very good for selfies and uh, the clarity looks really good you can see some of the samples taken with the front camera and they have come very good uh, the clarity of the front facing camera for selfies is very good and the color quality is also really good so all in all what we can say is this is a really good camera in uh, this price point with uh, excellent uh, uh, daylight capabilities along with the video full hd recording so the only area where this camera really doesn't work was uh, uh, the extreme low light condition where there is uh, uh, high amount of noise uh, included in the photo but with artificial lighting good amount of artificial lighting the photos were pretty good so that was the camera review of the Mizu M1 Note so all in all it's a pretty good camera we already uploaded a uh, com camera comparison with the Xiaomi Mi 4i with similar camera so you can also have a look at that so this was the camera review of the Mizu M1 Note hope you like this video if you have any queries drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with the queries if you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day